Hello, I'm Greg Jarrett. You are in the strategy room. The Obama administration now scrambling to contain the damage caused by White House aide Ben Rhodes, who boasted to the New York Times magazine about manipulating journalists in order to sell the Iran nuclear deal. This, as new questions are being raised over a block of missing tape from a 2013 State Department briefing, during which a State Department official acknowledged misleading the media on negotiations with Tehran. Joining me now with reaction are Democratic strategist David Mercer, Republican strategist Brad Blakeman. David, it, it would appear, if you take uh, Ben Rhodes at his word, that the White House and he used exaggeration and deception on the Iran nuclear deal. This is not good uh, for President Obama, is it? Well, I would... Uh I'd be reluctant to characterize it as uh, bending the uh, the truth or misleading or what have you. It was educating. It was informing those <laughs> that are in, uh, in dealing with the issue, whether it's think tanks, allied groups, experts, and so forth, because the same thing was going on for those that were against the uh, Iran uh, deal. And in fact, you had Republicans writing to the leadership of Iran rather than communicating with the White House. Um, and so Ben Rhodes led an effort to present the facts, to present the arguments, to go through the specifics and inform them for a long haul in having the public make an informed decision about the right decision, which was to get the Iran deal done and uh, put, yeah. Iraq on a, on a, excuse me, put Iran on a track to reduce their capacity rather than to enhance that capacity. Brad, does it appear to you that Ben Rhodes is almost gleeful as he recounts sure. how the media was effectively snookered by the White House's false narrative? You bet. He was aloof. He was condescending and basically said, we're a bunch of dupes and suckers. And after Ben Rhodes came out with those revelations, James Rosen, James Rosen, the Fox's chief Washington correspondent, heads down to the State Department and asks the State Department, do you lie to the American people? Did you not tell us the, the truth when we asked if you were negotiating directly with Iran? And, and the State Department person said, in effect, yeah, we did lie. And we did do uh, the, the American people because that's what we had to do to make the deal. And guess what? Thereafter, you can't find the Rosen portion as of yesterday of that news conference, but today you can. Why? Because they got called on it and Fox had the tape. This is the way this administration uh, conducts itself. It lies to us, and then after they make the deal, they come clean, and they do it in a very condescending yeah. way. That Sorry, but you caught us, so what? David, um, <laughs> the edited tape produced by... Uh, you know, the government, you know, seems, well, it was outright edited with a white flash. We showed it on our air on the Fox News channel and missing are eight critical minutes in which they essentially um, are, are shown to be lying. Uh, you'd have to give me specifics. Um, I think we're also putting a lot of words in Ben's mouth uh, that he snookered the press, that he manipulated the press. Again, he was... Um, it, making sure that counter to the opposition that wanted to defeat this no matter what, even if it meant going around the president to talk to those that are associated with what the Republicans deem as the enemy, um, and also having, you know, whether it's ben, Benjamin Netanyahu without telling the president until after the fact that he was coming uh, to address a joint session of Congress, all of that is what they were facing in getting the truth and the facts out to the American public. And I think that's why you have the agreement that's done, uh, because they did it more effectively than the opposition. Well, it's not terribly complimentary to uh, Hillary Clinton, uh, is it, Brad, or referring to the you know, foreign policy establishment, including Hillary Clinton as the blob. Yeah, and also taking down the media by saying they're a bunch of 27-year-olds who know nothing. Well, guess what? Ben, you're not far off from that in age. What have you done before you got to the White House? And what have you done while you're in the White House? In effect, what you're saying is that you're condescending to the very people in your age group and then what you said was they're not smart enough to figure out that we lied to them. Uh, I mean, it, it is an awful display. Yeah. And if I were the president, I would can him today. Well, my guess is that Ben Rhodes will be sent to the James Watt uh, um, yeah. <laughs> spanking room.
uh, for you know doing this interview and doing it the way he did it. All right, uh, Brad Blakeman and David Mercer, uh, thanks very much. For Pleasure. more on this developing story, go to foxnews.com. I'm Greg Jarrett. Thanks for watching.